Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Jay Ross, back with another video. So, as you guys can pretty much tell by now, like I, I'm just gonna keep as long, until I'm done testing out all the makeup that I've bought from all the halls of the holiday, I'm gonna keep saying new year, new makeup. <laughs> I am trying out the iHeart Revolution Cherry Revolution gift set. This set is specifically made for Ulta. It is sold out now, but Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty, whatever they want to have their name, I really don't care. They have this set, but it looks different on the website. Um, they actually have like a little, not a little, but like a cherry 10. Like a, it's basically a 10 shaped like a cherry with chocolate all over it. So it's the same gift set. I've been looking at them both online. Um, it looks like the same exact set, except for some reason, Ulta's website calls this the Black Cherry Chocolate Palette, but on Revolution Beauty, they call it the Winter Cherry Chocolate Palette. But I feel like everything in this box is the exact same, the color story, all that good stuff. So. Even though you can't eat it on Ulta anymore, I still want to do this before it runs off of Revolution's, Revolution Beauty's website. So I at least, you know, if you guys were thinking about getting this, especially because it's like half off right now, why not? So this is the Black Cherry Palette, or as Revolution Beauty calls it, the Winter Cherry Palette. And this is the Mini Sour Cherry Palette, which has the same name on Revolution's website as well. And that's what that looks like as you guys can tell different color stories for both of them which is really good because i was hoping like revolution would play people and like give you the exact same shades in two palettes just for like one to be travel size i've never tried a revolution i heart revolution whatever i never tried any of their chocolate palettes i usually only stick to when i did buy revolution a lot i only stuck to the reloaded palettes as well as anything Tammy comes out with. So in this palette, there are three mattes, one, two, and three, and then the rest of them are shimmer. This one seems to have a little bit more like sheen, shine, like, like these seem like, like, what do they call it? Like satin, like they have like a sheen to them, but this one actually has something like mm to it. Okay, where was the pigmentation? All right, and then I'm just gonna blend that out with this sh shade up here. Even though this is a satin matte, I'm gonna go ahead and take it on my outer corner. It does have a sheen to it, but I'm gonna see how like, dark it is because I need some depth in this look. Now I we'll have a sheeny outer corner. Let's try the shade. So I'm gonna scrap the one look on one side, one look on the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrap that. And I'm gonna combine the palettes because this isn't cute whatsoever. This isn't cute. No. So I'm gonna wipe this off. We're gonna start over and we're gonna create a cute eye look using both palettes on both eyes legit both eyes at the same time on both eyes <laughs> see this is the main reason why i always do my eyes before my foundation because you never know what could go wrong so let's try this again i'm gonna start on this eye because of course because i just wiped this one off with the makeup wipe it's still kind of wet and i don't want to throw off the consistency so i'm gonna wait till this fully dries and then i'll do this eye All right, so trying this again, starting with the bigger palette since it has more mattes, a little bit of depth in here with these two shades for sure. Let's see if we can actually make an eye look work because your girl can't be out here looking crazy. So I'm gonna start off with this shade called Liquor. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, adding the depth. Then I'm cleaning the brush off that I used before. I'm gonna blend that Liquor shade out with Picked. I'm gonna take this shade called Compote. I'm trying to blind you guys, sorry. I'm 
And then I'm going to take this shimmer shade from the smaller palette. I'm just going to take it on my finger to see what it does first. Taking this shade from the mini palette. I'm going to go ahead, go off camera, do the other eye, do my base, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the rest of the eye look. So now that my base is complete, I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line with you guys and then I'm going to test out this fixing, setting, spray, whatever it's called with you guys as well. So I haven't even set my face with the spray yet. This is just full after I've done all my products and yeah, and then we'll also test the lip as well. So for the lower lash line, I think I want to try this shade called Tipsy. And then of course I'm going into this shade Liquor, which is that first shade that we use, just to connect it a little bit. These two shades again, so just topping up my inner corner a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and try this chocolate cherry fixing spray. Um, I have tried Revolution sprays before, so I'm guessing I Heart Revolution spray shouldn't be any different. The smell isn't bad. I do like the smell. It's a, it's a soft smell. Like I have um, this cherry truffle spray from Revolution, and it smells like very, very strong, like overdose of chocolate. And this one actually has a soft smell. It just has a powerful spray. Oh my gosh that was like really powerful and last but not least i want to try this chocolate cherry lip gloss or as revolution's website calls it the sour cherry lip gloss um i don't know why they named it different things for different it's just, you're just doing too much okay um so i'm gonna try it without a liner it does smell like a sour cherry like a sour cherry like candy or something it doesn't smell like sour cherry chocolate or anything, but it smells like sour cherry like candy, like a now later, uh, what's the other Jolly Rancher? That's what it smells like. I'm gonna line my lips just to clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna top it with the sheer gloss from the uh, Tammy X Revolution kit. Okay, so my overall thoughts about this collection is, would I have paid $30 for it? Nope, I'm not even gonna lie, not even gonna front. Um, I feel like this eyeshadow look still looks like faded on me. Like I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, do I look washed out or is it just me? The like, only thing that's really like standing, standing out is like the inner corner. But like, would I have paid full price for that? No. Um, especially if you are gifting it to a woman of color, a person of color. Nah, I think we can pass on this one. I do like the packaging of it. Like I do like the chocolate melting bar package look. I've always been intrigued into looking at some of the palettes, but like this one, from the way it looked online, it looked like it was gonna be like more deeper. You should know by now, online just, they'd be lying to us. But like, yeah, you do have some deep shades, this one, this one, and this one, but like, those are the deep shades, and even then, there's still not like a lot of, a lot of depth on my eye. I think I'm still good on Revolution stuff, whether it's I Heart Revolution, Revolution Beauty, XX Revolution. I think unless Tammy comes out with something, I'm good. The fixing spray, my face doesn't feel tight. It has like settled my face, definitely, literally setting my face my face looks really good but that nozzle is hard as all get up and as far as this lip gloss goes it has a tint to it it does have some like you could actually see the pigmentation in this if you tried the cherry palettes if you tried any of the chocolate palettes which one should i try if i should try another one again or do you think i could just pass on it second of all you know i'm vacillating here trying so that wraps it up for me guys thank you guys so much for watching once again i am your girl j ross please like share and subscribe to this channel i love you guys so much i hope you guys are staying safe happy healthy and blessed and i will see you guys for sure in my next one peace